So guys, welcome to the part two of the installation video of the One UI 6.1.1 on Android 14 and I don't want you guys to waste any more of your time. So let's get straight into the installation of this. Now guys, let's install the One UI 6.1.1 on our Galaxy S7 series and the Note 7 series. So first of all, you have to press the volume up, the home key and the power button at the same time. Uh, to boot into the TWRP recovery mode. Now guys, I have booted into the TWRP recovery mode and you have to uh, flash the custom TWRP, which is the TWRP AJ version to install, uh, to be able to install this uh, custom ROM. So first of all, uh, you don't have to do anything. Uh, you just have to go, uh, you know, copy all the stuff to your SD card because your internal storage is going to get wiped. So it's of no use. Or you can also use a USB OTG to flash the ROM. And the first uh, step, uh, sorry about this, is to, uh, you know, get all these files. And you will also have a system file, uh, which you can just get it through install image option, which is the main uh, port file. So this is a system image. You will get the, uh, you will get all of the links of the files in the description. So you have to check that out. You have to download and uh, I will tell you how to, you know, flash each of them. Now first you have to flash the repartitioner version 2. So just uh, confirm to flash it. And as you can see, it says uh, if you are flashing this by mistake, you have to, uh, you know, uh, press the buttons and uh, exit the process. So if you want to back up your data and you have forgot, you have to do that uh, before uh, executing the script. So now guys, as you can see, it says rebooting back to recovery in five uh, seconds, but it has uh, done that in five seconds and it will reboot back into recovery. So don't worry. This will happen while the installation is in place After it reboots back into the TLRP recovery go to install again and you have to choose the cleaner file Which you have to compulsory flash after the repartitioner and this will also reboot you back into recovery in five seconds So yeah, this is a double uh, reboot into recovery process in the initial steps now guys, after the device reboots, you have to check if any partition is giving you any mount errors. So if you have any mount errors, for example, you are getting a mount error with the cache partition, you have to go into wipe, uh, go to advanced wipe, choose the cache partition, repair or change. You have to change the file system, choose the xt4 and flash it straight away to xt4. Now you have to uh, do one thing which is compulsory that you have to go into wipe, advanced wipe, check data repair uh, change file system and here as you can see it says f2fs uh, yours might be ext4 so you have to change it to f2fs again and you have to format the data to f2fs and after doing this you have to go to install and you have to uh, choose install image and oh, sorry about this and this is the system image you have to flash. Now to get the system image, you have to download the zip, which is the images and you can extract and you will find the system image and you have to flash this as system. Uh, this might take a bit of a time because uh, it's uh, like, uh, uh, what do you say? Six GB of file. So you have to wait. Uh, yeah, the process was not even started. Uh, I can see the TWRP glitch which is caught on camera and I like this is the first time it has happened. I have installed this ROM two times before like I have to test some things out. So yeah, so yeah, this things happen. So don't worry. Just, you know, do what I have uh, followed you through the video and you'll be fine. So let this uh, flashing process finished. It's a uh, 6 GB. So it might take some minutes of our video. So guys, the system image has been flashed. Now uh, go back to install. Now you might feel the installation is a bit in the pieces so you have to install it all separately but yeah that's how it is and it's fair. Then we have the vendor and kernel you have to flash this. Last a zip uh, which will, it will flash the vendor and the kernel. Let's uh, skip this part too. So guys the vendor plus kernel has been flashed now just have to reboot system and wait for the device to boot because there's one more uh, zip which you have to install uh, if you have seen the no setup wizard zip you have to install it after booting and you have to boot back into TTLRP to install it so yeah let the device boot it might take some time and the device might heat so if it heats a lot keep it in the fridge or the freezer for some time like five ten minutes and 
get back to installing the uh, last zip which is required to install uh, like use the one ui 6.1.1 properly so guys the device has booted up and now you have to uh, you know without even touching the start button just power it off again uh, you can use the volume down and the power off uh, as you can see it says and power it off and you have to boot back into twrp by using the volume up uh, the home button and the power button at the same time so just boot into twrp again and this is also a bug i don't know why the led stays on after the device has been powered off but yeah until the led goes off you cannot boot into twrp that's what i've learned okay now you the device has been powered off totally so just uh, yeah now it will boot into twrp now you have to go to install and install the final zip which is the no setup wizard and that's it you are done reboot system and now you can enjoy one us 6.1.1 without any like of those uh, uh like uh, you know what i can say uh, stupid issues of the setup wizard and all the other uh, stupid stuff that samsung carries over to avoid you know like giving some bad impressions to the older devices for the newer experience but yeah i hope you guys get what i'm saying because that's one us 6.1.1 for galaxy s7 series and note 7 series which includes the galaxy s7 the s7 edge note 7 which is a very critical device and note 7 fe so i hope you all have the note 7 fe not the note 7 like yeah just Use it on a Note 7 FE. I'm really afraid to, you know, even tell you to install it on the Note 7 because it heats a lot and I don't want your Note 7 to heat up. So, yeah, that was it for the video. I hope you guys have successfully flashed it on your uh, device and that's it. Uh, I hope you guys like the video. If you're watching till here, uh, you can like, dislike, you can subscribe and as you can see, it has booted up with the setup wizards uh, skipped and just give it some time. It will uh, be a better responsive and then you can set it up and use as you want and let's see if the sim card works right now uh, okay i must give it some time to you know uh, just uh, just set up after the installation so give it some time and it will be uh, a good smooth experience not totally but yeah it's it's one year six what else you can expect so yeah that's it subscribe uh, if you have any comments, you can drop it down below the comment section for all the links. Check the description for all the guide, for all the bugs. Check the description and bye-bye. Uh, See you guys soon with another video on the S7. Bye-bye.